my absolute dream would be to chip off and write a Marvel film. Don't want to kind of write kind of like the, the Incredible Trans Woman. I want to write the X-Men, which is yeah. all a big alle allegory for queerness anyway. For the longest time, Christmas was quite a triggering time of year, I think, for a lot of queer people. We're bombarded with these images of what Christmas should be. In recent years, I've started to think, well, why shouldn't queer people have that? Obviously, some queer people do not have great relationships with their family, a lot do. I always come back to my own family. You know, my 65-year-old mum in Bradford has a trans daughter and was totally fine with it. I mean, my family's Greek and my grandparents are super religious and everything. And I came out to them a few years ago and yeah, they obviously struggled with like pronouns and names and stuff at the beginning, but their acceptance was like unwavering. They were like, we don't fully really get it. Like we need a bit of time, but we accept you and love you because you're still our grandchild. I always think when it comes to the question of representation, the answer is always more. If there are more authors writing about trans or non-binary characters, then it takes some of the pressure off the few of us who already are. And it means that our work, our films, or our books, or our TV shows don't become monolithic. Authors and writers should always just tell the story they want to tell. And it's up to publishers to make sure that they don't just have one type of author. My biggest piece of advice probably would be to come off of social media. Social media can be such a lifeline. And it has meant that for young queer people, we will never now be the only queer in the village as we live in this global online village. So I understand the sort of the appeal of that connection. And by all means, if, if you've got that, use that, have your online Christmas, but be very, very mindful of that sort of what I always call the highlights reel, where you just post all the best bits about your Christmas. So you're, you're bombarded by these incredibly kind of hallmark images. And that can be really upsetting. If you are somebody who is alone this Christmas, you know, make, make a celebration of that. You know, get those Christmas films on, get that food in, light the fire, and, and recognize that just because you're by yourself doesn't mean you're alone. I really, really like kind of Christmas films that are not Christmas films. Batman Returns. Definitely a Christmas film. Gremlins, definitely a Christmas yeah, film. Yeah. Um, the Krampus, so dark, definitely a Christmas <laughs> film. If you don't know the names, Stephen Whittle and Christine Burns, look them up. It's very important to acknowledge our history and like activists who came before us and people who really did pave the way. Yes, I look to people like Haru Neff and Andrea Pejic for style advice and that must never be overlooked. I sort of have to look at the rights that I have today as difficult as it is to be trans in the United Kingdom at the moment. I wouldn't legally be sat here as a married woman if it weren't for people and the sacrifices that Christine and Stephen made and the work that they did.